This is one of multiple videos teaching you network programmability using Python and GNS3. Now that we've been able to automate the configuration of both a Cisco IOS V router and an IOS V layer 2 switch, we'll now configure multiple switches at the same time. So I'll drag four additional switches to the topology and we'll connect them to the first IOS V switch. So this is acting as a management network for let's say a core and access layer. So these core switches will be connected to one another and they'll be connected to the access switches. So perhaps something like this. Now what you're gonna remember is these links between switch one and the rest of the switches in the topology is an out of band management network. These links between the switches would be the network used for user traffic. Now we could delete these links to the access layer. For now, I'm gonna leave them there, but in a subsequent video, we'll use an in-band management VLAN rather than a dedicated link. So I'll start up these switches. One of the parts that's gonna take the longest is configuring the IP addresses and other information on the switches. I'll open up a console to the devices and the topology. So the switches are currently booting up. While we're waiting for all the switches to boot up, let's have a look at our Python script. The first thing I'm gonna do is copy script 2.py to script 3.py. And then we'll use nano to edit script 3. So this is what the script currently looks like. In the previous video, I showed you how to use a range to configure VLANs on a single switch. Now what's great about using Python directly is you can test things. So if I say range 10, notice it gives me a range from zero to nine. There are 10 values in the range. If I say range 74, notice it gives me a range from zero to 73. So if I say range 10 again, it's in the range zero to nine. But if I specify two 10, that's in the range from two to nine. So if I specify five 10, that's five to nine. If I actually want to use numbers like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, then I need to specify 11. So that's something to remember when you create loops using the range. In the previous video, we wanted to create VLANs two to 100. So I had to specify 101 in the range. Now that's too many VLANs for what we're gonna do. So let's configure VLANs two to 10 on all switches in our topology. The great thing about building networks like this in GNS3 is you can try things without being worried that you'll break a live network. So we can sort of take chances and learn and iterate our scripts as we're going along without the fear of breaking a production network. So what we're gonna do now is create a loop to automate the configuration of all the switches in one go. So what we'll do is we'll configure the VLANs two to 10 on all the switches. Now the first thing we need to do is specify the IP address that we're going to use for the devices. So currently we only have one IP address, but what I wanna do is loop through all the IP addresses of the switches. 
So we'll change the IP address to 192.168.122.72, which is the IP address of the first switch, which we can confirm by logging into the switch and by using the command show IP interface brief. So there's the IP address of the first switch. We've got 72, we'll configure this switch as 73, 74, 75, and 76. So we've got five switches. So we'll use 77 here so that it goes in the range 72, 73, 74, 75, 76 to cover our five switches. Now to tell Python that this host line belongs under the loop, we need to add some white space. So I've just pressed tab there. We don't, however, want to enter the username and password five times. So we'll move that above the loop and then we'll remove them here. So the way the script will work is it'll ask us to enter the telnet username and password. In this case, because we're gonna use the same username and password on all the switches, we only wanna be prompted for that once. If the credentials were different on every switch, we could add it as part of the loop so that we prompted for the credentials of the individual switches. So we need to move all this code to the right so that it's under the loop. Using our analogy again, that's similar to having the configuration of an interface under the interface and spaced to the right so that the router knows that that configuration belongs under a section such as VTY. That again is just an analogy to explain what we're doing here. So I'll move everything to the right just by pressing tab on each line. So what we're doing is specifying 4N in range 72 to 77. Essentially here, we are going to telnet to a host with IP address 192.168.122.72 and the next time round, it would be 73. It would loop round to 74, 75, and 76. The script is going to tell that to the host IP address, look for username, and then pass the user variable as specified there to the switch and press carriage return. Then it's going to pass the password to the switch that we've configured over there. And then it's going to type conf t. And then we've got a sub loop. In other words, we are doing a loop within a loop. So for the range 2 to 11, in other words, VLANs 2, 3, up to 10, we are going to configure a VLAN and then specify the name of the VLAN. We're gonna type end on the switch to go back to privilege mode and then exit the Telnet session. And then we're gonna print out the output. So that's essentially our Python script. I'll exit out of the script and save it. So let's have a look at the script using cat. That's what a script currently looks like. So now we need to configure the switches with IP addresses. The first switch has an IP address of 72. Let's do this the old fashioned way using text editor to save us time when configuring the switches. Okay, so here's switch one. Type show run. We wanna grab this configuration and paste that into our text editor. And on the VTY line, we want to get the login local and the transport input all configuration. So what I'll do now is copy that and we'll configure switch two. So we'll call this host switch two. We'll paste in the configuration Go on to VLAN 1 and no shut it. IP address on switch 1 is 192.168.122.72. Here we'll create an IP address of 192.168.122.73. And let's confirm that the switch can ping the first switch. What I'll do here actually is set a spanning tree for VLAN 1. 
so that this switch is the primary root of the spanning tree. So in other words, this switch will be the root, just to ensure that we have a better designed network. So what we can do now is test that we can telnet to that switch and log in with our credentials. So that works, we're in privilege mode. So let's save the configuration of these switches. So that's switch two done. Here is switch three. Host is switch three. We'll paste in the configuration, go on to VLAN one, no shut it, configure an IP address of 192.168.122.74 in this case. So show IP interface brief. Previously we telneted to 73, let's telnet to 74. We can log in successfully. So I'll save the configuration of switch three. If you want to jump ahead, jump to the timer now displaying. If you don't want to watch me configure individual switches. So this is switch four. Interface VLAN one, no shut. IP address 192.168.122.75. With the subnet mask, save the config, and what we'll do now is telnet to that switch from switch one. Let's see if I made a mistake there. So show IP interface brief. Put the wrong IP address on the switch. So interface VLAN one. This should be 122. So ping 192.168.122.72. Works so now we can telnet to that switch. So switch four is done, and now we need to do the last switch, switch five. So, one of the lessons here is it takes a long time to manually configure devices, but all we're doing is configuring the telnet details, and then the rest will configure using automation. So 192.168.122.76. Let's telnet to 76. We can log in. So we've successfully configured the switches with IP addresses. The lesson to learn here is that manual configuration of network devices is very repetitive and prone to making mistakes. We as humans make mistakes. So when you're typing configurations into network devices line by line, it's very possible that you'll make a mistake, just as I did. It also takes a long time versus using an automation tool. So let's see if we can now configure VLANs on all these switches using our Python script. Okay, so let's verify the VLANs on the switches. Show VLAN brief on switch two. It only has the default VLANs configured. Switch three, show VLAN brief. Default VLANs configured. Show VLAN brief on switch four. Only default VLANs configured. Switch five, show VLAN brief only default VLANs exist. So this is what our script looks like once again. Are you ready to test the automation of this network? A great thing about GNS3 once again is you can test it here and if your script breaks, you can get it working properly before you run it in a real environment. So you could build a copy of your live network in GNS3 and then test it here before you deploy it on the production network. Okay, so let's run our script. We ask for our username, ask for our password. We can see some output for switch two. There's switch three, switch four, switch five. So if we scroll back through the output of our script, that's where we ran the script and specified our username and password. 
Here's the configuration of switch one, switch two, switch three, switch four, and switch five. So let's verify that the configuration was done. So we can see that David telnated into switch two, show VLAN brief. There are our 10 VLANs. Here's switch three, show VLAN brief. There are the 10 VLANs. Switch four, show VLAN brief. There they are. And switch five, show VLAN brief. There they are. So we've successfully automated the configuration of VLANs on these five switches. Now the wonderful thing about Python and programming is we can simply edit our script as needed and rerun it. So let's say we want to create 20 VLANs on the switches. We can change that one entry, save the script, and simply rerun it. And what it's going to do now is configure the switches with those 20 VLANs. There's switch one, there's switch two, switch three. Now, depending on the number of commands that you're sending to your devices, it may take a while for the script to run. But this is going to take much less time than it would be for you to manually configure the VLANs on those switches. So let's just take one or two switches. Here's switch three. VLANs one to 20 now exist on switch three. What about switch five? Show VLAN brief. There are our 20 VLANs. Now you can make your script fancier than what we've got here. But this is a good way for you to learn a bit of Python and learn how to start automating your network devices. Again, a child rolls, then crawls, then walks, then runs. And the same is true for you. If you're new to programming, just try stuff. It's the best way to learn. A child doesn't ask permission to start crawling. It doesn't ask permission to start walking. For you to start running marathons as a programmer, just start with small, programs such as this and automate GNS3 networks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.